everybody loves dogs, but what are the best dogs? We answered that question. This is Diana. And Mia with our rankings of the best dogs. We're starting from the bottom and working our way to the top. First thing is our worst dog. Not on the list, just the worst dog in general. My least favorite dog is the Shih Tzu because they're crusty little grandma dogs that feel like a block of wood when you try to pet them. And they're always stinky. They're also, like, their hair is, like, all so long. Like, they're like I don't feel like they've ever been, like, cut, like, trimmed ever or, like, bathed or anything. They've, they're always covered in unknown substances because nobody ever ca takes care of them. Like, what's your worst dog? My worst dog would probably be like a Chow Chow because they're like a like a larger version and like a kind of like a copy of a Pomeranian. So that would probably be my least favorite. They're ugly too. They have like faces and their like fur is so, it's so weird. It's like long, but not long, long, outward. <sighs> but there's like so many breeds, so let's just go to our top five dog breeds. Of course. Next is our number five pick. I chose Border Collies because I think they're really cute and they're playful, fun dogs, and I just love everything about them. Those are not the best dog that you'll ever meet. They are definitely really cute and sweet, and I don't really see that many of them often, but I think that there should be more Border Collies around. I think they're a better pick for a dog than a Golden Retriever. <laughs> so my fifth would probably be like a Dash and you know like those long like... Sausage dog? Yeah, those sausage dogs. Um, I feel like you can just put in them in a pocket and then everybody would just stare into your bag. I feel like that would be true about any dog. But yeah. those are definitely pocket dogs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Number four, we both chose the same thing, Gorgies, because they're like a staple in the dog universe, universe and I feel like anybody can love a Corgi. My, f yeah, my fourth will probably be a Corgi because my aunt has like a Corgi and it's obsessed with me. And I'm like, every time I come over to their house, she's like, they're like climbing up all over me and getting fur all over my, uh, all over my pants. Also, I think that they're like, corgis are also a little bit rabid sometimes, but I feel like all small dogs are. Okay, so number three, I chose an Australian Shepherd because I feel like they're just like a better version of a Border Collie, like I said, number five. They're more, I feel like, active than Border Collies, in my opinion, and I think they're cuter. <laughs> My third would probably be like a poodle because like I love how they're like fluffy and they're like sometimes like tall and then you can like trim them to make like cool designs on them which is really fun. I definitely disagree with that. Wow. I do! Poodles are not, no. Their fur is too... Too fluffy? It's scratchy. Uh, true. Okay. My number two was a Borzoi. That one dog from that one trend that everybody knows now with the long snout. I think they're really funny looking. And also, they love their like, little, like, long snout because it makes them different from other dogs because I feel like a lot of like mid-sized dog breeds are the same in the way that they all have the same fur type in like the same coat, but I feel like they're actually different than the rest of the dogs that you'll see. Okay, so my second favorite would probably be like a Boston Terrier, cause like I have one of my own and they're like super cute. Like sometimes their nose like goes indented and they, like, they have no tail, which is funny to make fun of for some reason. And then like, they're also really protective. I didn't put my dogs, like my dog's breed, on this list. <laughs> That's sad. Um, and now, what you've all been waiting for, our number one dog breed. I chose the Bernice Mountain Dog because they are the biggest, cutest, sweetest, fluffiest dogs you will ever meet. There's this one that like lives in my neighborhood and 
she roams around and gets like pats from everybody who lives in the neighborhood and she's so sweet and cute and <sighs> I just love them. So my favorite would probably be a Pomeranian because they like might look like big from the outside because of their fur, but they're like really skinny and they can fit in like a McDonald's cup, which is like super cute. And I can just like take it and like, it won't be like much space for it. I, I also have an honorable mention who didn't make the list, but it's my dog's breed. So I feel like I have to say it. Japanese chins, they're... There's a Japanese chin? Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, but they don't, they, my dogs don't look like the ones on Google. But that's what my dog's read is, and I didn't put it on the list, so I feel like I have to say it. But they are really funny looking, but that's why I didn't make the list. Is your top five dogs.